Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Nathan from the ebook reader blog. Uh, for this video, I just wanted to talk about the screen on the new Kindle for 2022. Amazon finally upgraded it to have 300 PPI because all the previous entry level Kindles up until now for the past 15 years have had 167 PPI. So big improvement and finally has the same like quality of a screen as like the Paperwhite and the Oasis. So uh, first off, I wanted to compare it to the Kindle Voyage. The Kindle Voyage is known for having the best screen of any Kindle ever, re ever released, even though it was released way back in 2014. There's something about that front screen, front layer glass screen that really just makes the text pop. Text stands out more. And when I compare both of these two together, um, yeah, the Voyage still has a slightly better screen. The text is darker, just seems just a little bit sharper. But you know, with the uh, uh, newer Kindle, the screen is definitely faster. As you can see, page turns are faster and you get a lot less noise in the background. If you notice in the white part of the text on the Voyage, you can still see like lines of text from the previous page, whereas you don't see that on the new Kindle. So Voyage still has better contrast, still has darker text. Uh, the new Kindle is definitely an upgrade, but uh, let's go ahead. We're comparing it to the last entry level Kindle right now, the uh, 10th gen model. Uh, it has 167 PPI, so 167 on the left versus the new Kindle with 300 on the right. So text is definitely clearer on the right with the new Kindle. So definitely an upgrade there. It's kind of hard to compare. The text size isn't quite exactly the same, uh, but the way it lays out with a different uh, you know resolution. But uh, I got the same exact you know font type, same weight settings for all these comparisons here. And I have the front lights turned off. We're just trying to compare the screen only. So uh, as I've spoke about in previous uh, comparison reviews, the camera tends to focus a little bit better on the right. So I've been swapping uh, throughout the video. You'll see me swap sides so you can get kind of a better idea um, of just how the screen looks. Because I mean, the, in these comparison reviews with the screens are hard to do. The camera, I mean, with the lighting and everything, it's hard to get in a completely perfect clear image on both devices at the same time. So I kind of switch them back and forth here. Now, one weird thing, it does seem kind of like the dark, the black image is a little bit darker on the entry level Kindle, the previous one. Um, definitely have the higher, res higher resolution on the newer model. So I don't know, it's just kind of a weird thing with ink screens. I swear, sometimes you'll compare the two screens and one lighting condition and one is clearly better and you'll take it into a different room with different lighting and the other one looks better. Ink screens are weird, so take this uh, comparison for what it's worth. All right, so now we're taking a look at the current Kindle Paperwhite, the Paperwhite 5 with a 6.8 inch ink screen. It has that added plastic layer over the front, so I thought the newer Kindle would possibly beat it, but uh, to my eyes, the uh, text is still darker. It's darker on the Paperwhite than it is on the newer Kindle, even with that added layer over the screen. I think what it comes down to is the new, the Paperwhite has the Carta 1200 screen, the newer Carta 1200 screens that have like deeper contrast, darker text. Uh, I think that the uh, entry level Kindle is using the older Carta screens, like that's on the Paperwhite 3 and 4, whereas the newer Carta 1200 screens have that improved contrast, a little bit darker text. I think that that's the, basically what it comes down to, uh, because when I compare this uh, new Kindle with the Kindle Paperwhite 3, the screens are very, very comparable to my eyes. Um, so yeah, I think it just has the Carta HD screen instead of the Carta 1200 screen. I could be wrong on that, but that's kind of my take on this comparison right here. Uh, so yeah, I still think the Paperwhite, the current Paperwhite has a little bit better uh, screen than the entry level model, which, you know, makes sense because it costs more. You can't just go off with uh, 300 PPI. That's like what all your readers are nowadays, pretty much. It, it, there's other factors involved with the front layers and the front light layers. So, I mean, ink screens, like I said, they're kind of weird and it just kind of comes down to it. Uh, so right here we have the Paperwhite 4 on the right, or I mean the Paperwhite 3. It's hard to keep track. Paperwhite 3 has those monstrous bezels on the top and bottom. It's kind of weird how they ever thought that was cool, but um, so yeah, I, I, these screens, they look the same to me pretty much. I mean, there's some maybe minor differences, but I think this uh, entry level Kindle is closest to the Paperwhite 3 for my eyes. The Paperwhite 4 has the same screen, but then it has the added, you know, layer over the top. So to me, the new Kindle looks better than the Paperwhite 4. Um, so just a quick look with the overhead lights off. Like I said, you know, the way ink screens look, it can vary in different lighting conditions, but I just wanted to do this comparison without any front lights involved, just kind of get down to the base ink screen to um, you know should just show how the text looks compared to the previous Kindles with this new 300 PPI screen on the entry level Kindles. All right now I switched back to the Kindle Voyage again the Kindle Voyage to me still has the best contrast of any Kindle or any e-reader for that matter just something about the text sharper darker I don't know what it was but they hit the secret sauce with that one 
Of course, the front light wasn't nearly as good on the front, on the Kindle Voyage. Um, I, actually, I think the front light's better on this newer Kindle. So, and it definitely refreshes the screen better. You get less uh, after image effects. So, I mean, it does have some advantages. Um, you know, here's a quick look at it compared to the new Kobo. The Kobo has a car with a 1200 screen. They advertise it as such. Um, to me, the Kobo's text does still look a little bit darker. So, like I said, I think the uh, Kindle is using the regular Carta HD screens, whereas some of these newer devices have the Carta 1200 screens with just a little bit darker blacks. But, you know, I mean, it's really not that much of a difference. But if you're really a stickler for contrast, you know, I just wanted to let you know. Uh, I kind of am a stickler for contrast. I still use the Kindle Voyage a lot because I really like the screen on it. Uh, I kind of wish they'd go back to making the text like the most important aspect of the device instead of, you know, adding waterproofing and all these the extra storage space that I'm never going to use. But, you know, that's just me. Um, so, you know, I just want to give you guys a quick look at the new screen on the new Kindle. Um, definitely an improvement over the older screen on the, you know, with the 167 PPI, definitely an improvement. And they also added dark mode with this newer screen here. So like the previous gen, uh, entry level Kindle did not have that. So, um, but I'll do a comparison between the paper white later as far as like the other features go. Cause the paper white has that warm front light. Uh, so that's definitely one difference with it. The entry level Kindle doesn't have the warm front light. It just has that one front light color. You can't adjust the color tone at all. So, um, again, definitely better than the previous gen Kindle. Uh, I do like the screen and I do actually like reading on this device. I didn't like reading on the low resolution screen of the previous gen Kindle. I would never use it. Uh, but I can see myself using this one, sticking in a back pocket. It's super portable. Um, the text does look good enough, but uh, it's still not quite as good as the Voyage. But I still think the newer Paperwhite has a little bit darker text as well with the Carta 1200 screen. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Check out the main review. I'll get that posted soon. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.